in this episode we are going to be looking at investigating sound vibrations it says at the end of this week's lesson you will be able to investigate three properties of sound explain why sounds may be interpreted as pleasant or unpleasant identify sources of noise pollution and ways to eliminate it explain why loud sounds can be harmful and describe sounds using appropriate language complete at least four of the eight activities at the eight learning centers did you know that humans as well as other animals depend on sound vibrations to communicate are you aware that sound is a form of energy and it is all around us and here we have figure one drilling activities so they have some jackhammers here it looks like these guys are working on a road surface engage get a partner stretch an elastic band rubber band let your partner pluck the elastic band observe what happens what did you see what do you hear access the internet and download and this is the explore section access the internet and download a video that demonstrates how sound is produced explain it says here as seen in the activity sound is produced by vibration that is the back and forth movement of the elastic band as the elastic band vibrated it pushed the air back and forth resulting in sound waves extend material a plastic ruler and you're going to use a thumb to hold one end of the plastic ruler at the edge of the desk while allowing a section to hang from the desk use a finger from the free hand to push down on the end of the ruler hanging from the desk and then release it what did you see what did you hear now vary the length of the part of the ruler hanging from the desk and press down and release it record your findings three of the properties of sound are frequency pitch and intensity frequency is the speed at which sound vibrates whereas pitch indicates how high or low the frequency of the sound is to the listener intensity is a magnitude of a sound that is the loudness or softness of a sound therefore therefore when a promoter of entertainment turns up the sound system until it is unbearable for people to sleep read or study the sound becomes unpleasant an unpleasant sound is called noise when sound reaches the level where it makes you ill and becomes painful to the ears it is called noise pollution too much exposure to noise pollution can be harmful as it may damage the eardrums and cause hearing loss in contrast when sound is turned on low and the intensity is soft and people are able to sleep read or study because the sound is pleasant to the air sources of noise pollution are evident in different places these include construction sites drilling and uh, using generators in homes using blenders washing machines vacuum cleaners uh, outdoor using lawn mowers weed whackers flying airplanes driving trucks and trailers ways to eliminate noise pollution use noise cancelling earphones turn off appliances not in use or turn down the volume turn off electronics or lower the volume plant trees to absorb the noise all right so evaluate complete at least four of these activities from the eight learning stations let's go with these word link create a lexicon of the terms used for sound example pitch intensity frequency vibration muffling sound acoustic installation All right and that's a good activity so here we have pitch and we defined pitch 
as how high or low the frequency is we know that frequency is a back and forth movement which creates vibrations right we know that muffling sound we're going to dampen the sound and one way of doing that is by using acoustic insulation so if you go to a recording studio you might see them with egg carts on the wall or they have some form of sponge that is to prevent the sound from being reflected in a particular way to reduce noise all right um self-link dr agri irons center make a journal entry expressing the impact of noise pollution on society and your desire to minimize these harmful sounds so take for example a policeman comes home after being on a, a night shift and he tries to go to bed remember we had said that um, this policeman would need to use um, heavy curtains heavy dark curtains to block out the light he's also going to need something to do what to dampen the sound as well because the sound will also prevent him from falling asleep so he could wear what noise cancelling headphones to reduce the ambient noise in his environment he could also play um you know sounds from the ocean or you know what they call white noise <laughs> funny white noise and they could use that now to help him to fall asleep right so those are ways that we can use our understanding of light and sound in order to improve a person's sleep um, because they are working in such environments that prevent them from getting sleep during the regular hours of sleep all right next one picture link edna manley center draw five sources of noise pollution and then we go on now to the rex rex nettleford center using foam sheeting or bubble wrap make a model of a device that will reduce the harm the amount of harmful sound entering your air so that um you could use something now to show how you would protect your ear so you could think of something like an ear muff that would prevent you know loud sounds from getting into your ear for those persons who have been to the airport and you see the people working outside your plane like loading the baggage onto the plane or luggage onto the plane or you know freight they are the ones who usually have these orange what earmuffs on them to protect their ears as they move around that what jet engine mm -hmm. so you could think along that line to create a model number link says and this is the albert einstein center pluck rulers made from metal wood and plastic ensure that the sections of each hanging from the desks are plucked with a similar force at a similar length that is 10 centimeters 20 centimeters and 25 centimeters now you should compare the results from the vibrations of the rulers and explain the relationship between the type of ruler and the sound produced all right guys so again look over this and really take note of the different activities that you are asked to look at think also of the definition of the key terms what pitch intensity frequency and vibrations